Hi, I'm Rich and I'm a software engineer at Bellina. Today I'm going to be taking a look at building a web frame using a Raspberry Pi. A web frame is a display which continuously shows some web-based content. This could be a cloud photo library, operational metrics or a dashboard, or possibly even just digital signage and advertising. Let's take a look at what we're going to need. So I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 3B+. You can use a Raspberry Pi 3B, that'll be fine. Uh, I'll be using a 16 gig micro SD card. Smaller might work, but this is what I have available. I'm going to be hooking it up to my display using an HDMI cable. So you use whatever works for you. You'll also need an account with Bellina Cloud. Head over to the website and sign up. Once you've created an account, log into the dashboard and look for the create a new application option. I'm going to use the name Bellina Dash. I'm going to choose Raspberry Pi 3 and then go down to the application type and use Starter. Starter accounts are free for up to 10 devices. When I've done this, I'm going to click Create New Application and this will get created for me. From the screen that appears, you should be able to add a device. If you head over to the Add a Device option and click it, you'll be presented with a number of options. Again, I'm going to select Raspberry Pi 3. I'm going to select the Bellino OS version. The latest one that's on there should be fine. I'm happy with it being a production image. I want to use Ethernet, not Wi-Fi. So as you can see, you just choose the option and then click Download. An image will be created for you, which you can then flash to a SD card in order to get your Pi up and running. I'm going to use the tool Etcher to flash this to my SD card. So open up Etcher and choose the image that you just downloaded. Select the drive that you've got connected to your machine. Hit continue, then choose flash. Etcher will write it to the memory card for you and then it will also verify afterwards to make sure that it's written correctly. You may be prompted for an administrative password if you're on a Mac. This is fine, just go ahead with the procedure. Once the flash is completed, take the memory card out of your device reader and put it into your Raspberry Pi. If you then boot it up, you should see some kernel messages followed by the Bellina logo. At this point, we're ready to go and take a look at, on the Bellina dashboard at the device. Let's click on the device and we can see some information about it. If we head over to the device configuration, this is where all of the configurable parameters for the device are held. These are synonymous with what you'd expect to see in the config.txt file on a Raspberry Pi. For this project, we need to increase the amount of memory that's allocated to the GPU. In this case, I'm going to select 396 as the value. Now it's time to install the Bellina tools. These tools will allow us to interact with the service. We're going to use npm to install the tools. The command we're going to need is npm install Bellina-CLI and then I'm going to install it globally so I'll include the minus G flag. Once this is installed, you should be able to just run the Bellina command. Bellina have put together a sample application called Bellina Dash, which we can use as our starting point for this project. Head over to our Git repo, the links will be in the description below, and download the sources. I'm going to do this using Git and SSH, which I'll show you in a minute. If you haven't used git before, the command you're going to need here is going to be a git clone command. So 
So I'm going to go with git clone and then the link to the repo that GitHub will provide me. Jump into the Belina dash directory. And now let's log into the Belina service. To do this, we're going to type Belina login. In order to authorize against the service, we're going to choose web authorization. This will open up a web browser and allow us to authorize the Belina tools that we've just installed. Hit authorize, you should get a success message and we're now ready to interact with the Belina CLI tools. We're going to push this application to the cloud now. To do that, we want to run the command Belina push and then the name of our application, which is Belina Dash. Once this starts running, lots of messages will be displayed on the screen. Once it's pushed, you should see a unicorn. This is a good sign that everything's worked okay. Let's head over to the dashboard and see what's showing up there. We're going to need to set up some environment variables for this application. In here, we're going to add one. The name is going to be WPE underscore URL with a value of the Google homepage. This variable will be exposed to the application and it's what will be used to tell the software which web page to load. Once you've applied that, if you look at the screen of your Raspberry Pi, you should actually see it change from the Belina logo to the Google homepage. Awesome. That's what we were hoping for and everything's working fine. At this point, you can make changes to that URL to point to whatever source you would like it to look at. It could be a photo album, a dashboard, anything you want really. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any questions, head over to the forums at forums.belina.com. Here you'll find a really friendly community of people all trying to do the same sort of things as you. Good luck and I hope you enjoy working with Belina in the future.